Hi, everybody. Welcome to TEDx, Warsaw. Um, before I start, uh, I wanted to ask you a question. This is a very important question. How many of you have been to the circus? Wow. That's, that's great. <laughs> I mean, the thing about the circus, and this is something that I really, really like about it, is that there is stuff for everybody. Like, for example, for children, you have clowns. Um, OK, that's a scary looking clown, but you get the point. Um, you have animals. Like, for example, there is a lot of people that like you know, numbers with lions and tigers and elephants and, I don't know, penguins, whatever. So if you like that, you can have that in the circus as well. Um, I'm not a big fan of the circus, of the animals in the circus, but you know, you can have that. Actually, what I like the most are the numbers involving acrobats. This is something that I really enjoy when you have, you know, incredible performers displaying, you know, strength and control. And, you know, there's so many different things, so many different numbers that is incredible. And out of all those numbers, out of all those acts on the, you know, involving acrobatics, my favorite one, the one that I love the most, is the flying trapeze. There's something about it that I could just sit down and watch trapeze flying all day, and, you know, I just love it. And well, something that I realized is that many, many of you might not be familiar with how the flying trapeze works, so I decided to make a little flying trapeze 101 slide for you. Okay? Good? All right. So here we have a picture of a flying trapeze. As you can see, you know, in this side you have the platform, and pretty much how it works is you have a flyer and a catcher. Okay? What happens is what well, the flyer will take off from that little platform over there. He will swing, you know, and at the highest point of the swing, he lets go. And when he lets go, he performs a trick, a trick that could involve flipping or twisting or flipping and twisting. I mean, the stuff that these guys can do is incredible. And actually, that picture there is, is, is that moment, the moment where the, where the flyer is performing the trick. Now, what happens next is he will open up and put his hands in front. And at that precise moment, with perfect timing, the catcher arrives and catches him by the wrist. Then they will swing together, they will go back, the catcher will push the flyer up, flyer turns, grabs the trapeze bar, and comes back to the platform. Now, how cool is that? Honestly. <laughs> I mean, that's really cool. Um, and, you know, like I said, there's so many different tricks that you can do in the trapeze, but out of all those tricks, there is one that I really, really like the most. This is called the passing lip. This is a very spectacular trick, very technically difficult trick that involves, as you can see, not one, but two flyers performing at the same time. Now, I see some of your faces are like, you know, looking at the, at the thing, you know, wondering how it works. Very briefly, I can tell you that, you know, what happens here in this case, the lady, she takes off first, the catcher will grab her by the legs, she lets go, that sounds freaky. <laughs> she lets go, they will swing together, and at exactly the same moment, the second flyer will get on top of the bar, and as they get together towards the middle, that's exactly what happens. The, the one flyer goes underneath, the water one goes over, and you, know, you have the passing lead. Incredible. Now, something that I just realized is that probably it's kind of risky for me to be sharing this picture with all of you right now, because chances are that for the rest of my talk, you're not going to look at me as a presenter or as a speaker. We're just going to just look at me as that guy wearing white tights. Because actually, that guy over there, the catcher, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> you got to love the white tights. Uh, so 
why am I talking about this? Why am I talking about circus and trapeze flying? Um, the reason why is that I believe that this is the perfect example of collaboration. Without collaboration, the passing leap will never happen. And you know, this is collaboration at its highest level, literally. <laughs> um, the question is, how do we get there? How can we manage to achieve such a remarkable trick? And I believe that this is a process. This is a process that involves three stages. The first one is competition. Now, when I'm talking about competition, I'm not talking about, you know, let's say the negative side of it when you, you know, people have an offensive or defensive position against each other, or where, um, I don't know, they're afraid of sharing, sharing ideas, sharing information, sharing knowledge. I mean, they're pretty much keeping things to themselves. And well, the type of competition in which you know, the most common outcome is that you know, there is a win-lose situation. Um, no, this is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, well, let's say, the positive competition. Competition that drives you, that motivates you, that makes you go the extra mile, that makes you try harder. And the type of competition that, by the end of the day, the most common outcome is that you win. This is what I'm talking about. And Steve Young, the former quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers, he said it in a very, very nice way. He said that the principle is competing against yourself. It's about self-improvement, about being better than you were the day before. This is what I'm talking about. About trying, about trying harder every single time that your hands hurt, your back hurts, everything hurts. And, and, and you go up there and you try and you try and you try and you get better every day. So this is the first stage. The second stage is cooperation. Now, a lot of people use the, the term cooperation and collaboration like if it was the same thing, and I don't think that's the case. There is a big difference. When we talk about cooperation, basically what it is is that you know, we define roles and tasks, and each of us will work on performing and doing his own thing. So in other words, what happens is you do your thing, I do my thing, he does his thing, and then let's see what happens. <laughs> That's what cooperation is all about. And the thing about it is that win-win is possible as long as we win the same thing. And that's the key thing. Because with cooperation, it's all about agreement. It's about agreeing what are our tasks, our roles, and then each of us is responsible to get it done. So if we put it back to the flying trapeze, you know, the catcher is responsible for catching and just cares about catching. The flyer just focuses on catching, on flying. And you know, if things work out well, well, they will catch the trick. And that's cooperation. And I mean, don't get me wrong, cooperation is great. You can achieve great things with cooperation. But if you want to take it to the next level, if you want to go one step farther, you need to take the next step of the process, which is collaboration. Now, when we talk about collaboration, there is no longer I do my thing, you do your thing, let's see what happens. But here, we are working together. We work in harmony and we're working together to create something new. Because the thing about collaboration is that we all win. And this is remarkable. Because collaboration is all about creation. It's about creating something new, something that was not there in the first place. And something that it, it can be remarkable and it can be, you know, it can change things. That's what collaboration is all about. So, going back to the passing leap, um, when we go back to the passing leap, you need collaboration in order to achieve it. But the thing is, I don't care how fast you are. I don't care how experienced you are. I don't care how strong you are. How strong you are. <laughs> Without trust and commitment, there is no trick. 
without these two key elements, there is no passing leap. These two are the, the things that make the passing leap possible. So the really nice thing about all this is that this is not only applicable for the flying trapeze and for the circus. This is applicable everywhere. In anything you do, you can do this. This means also that, well, you don't need to wear white shiny tights in order to collaborate. <laughs> of course, if you want to, I mean, that's OK. It's your call, but you don't have to. So this is great. Um, and before I leave, I want to leave you with two final thoughts. The first one is that life's lessons come from very unusual places. I had the opportunity to learn about collaboration, about commitment, and about trust, while hanging and flipping and twisting on the flying trapeze. Because believe me, I mean, the moment that you take off from that board, if you are not 100% committed, oh boy, you're going to get hurt. And even worse, you're going to get hurt somebody else. And if we're talking about trust, Wow, I mean, letting go of that bar and knowing that you, know, you are putting your life on the hands of the catcher, it's an incredible experience. And as a catcher, I mean, I had the privilege of being both a flyer and a catcher. As a catcher, knowing that you're responsible for, for the life and for the health of your fellow flyer, that's incredible. So you need, you need these things in order to achieve such a complex thing as the passing lead. And the second thought is, I mean, well, it can be argued that do you really need trust and commitment in order to achieve collaboration? I mean, I think you can be all right. I mean, you can work on different projects and things, and you know, maybe you don't trust each other that much, or you are not that committed, but you can achieve collaboration. Don't you think? I mean, the answer is no. You, you don't need trust and commitment. I mean, you will do fine. But if you want to achieve something as remarkable as a passing leap, you need trust and commitment. So I have a question for you. I want you to ask yourself, what could be your passing leap? What could be that remarkable, that new, that exciting thing that you could create with your family, with your friends, with your colleagues at work, with your business partners, with your customers? What could be your passing leap? Think about it and go for it. Thank you very much. As you know, our theme today is collaboration, so uh, um, thank you, Ivan, for being the, the first one, and uh, thank you for letting us throw you to the uh, Circus Maximus out here. It was my pleasure. Thank you and, very much, guys. Uh, thank you very much for coming. They seem to like you. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.